Hi and welcome, my beautiful friends, to this month's October already um, Mindfulness Masterclass. We're in Te Awamutu, house sitting here this month, and hope you're all fine. It's getting summer without a question, the spring is here. Well, because last month I got really positive feedback on um, when we discussed the topic of change. So I want to stay with this topic a little bit because I think it's really for some of you, it's an issue, it seems. Uh, some of you have told me that you're feeling stuck. So I want to guide you into some mindful steps for creating the change and therefore creating your life. Um, for those who are new, during the meditation later on, I will stop the picture and there will be just the picture that you saw in the beginning, um, just so that it's less data on the recording. And for those who are live here, of course, we're doing a Q&A afterwards. Okay. So the question was last time already, and is again this time. Did you always wonder why is change so hard? What makes change so hard? And why does it have to be? You see, information is really better process, processed when you hear it and then you process it in a way that you can explain it to others afterwards. This is when the real transformation happens. If it's not just happening in your head, if you're not just reading a self-help book, but if you are ready to explain to someone else what it's all about, and this is when the transformation happens. So the reason is also it happens in the mind, of course. So the mind um, will take you to places and people but the mind will always take you to the known places and people and experiences so the question is can the mind follow you into an unknown experience so we're having we're having this outer life so your reality is made up of people places experiences and we tend to stick to what we know going to the same places for dinner or for lunch, taking the same bus, driving the same route, maybe even going to the same places on holidays, um, sticking to the same channel, to the same music. Kind of, we humans kind of tend to do that, to stick to stick with what we know. And um, that is okay because it's safe. That's totally okay. But if you if you're happy, oh my God, carry on. <laughs> But if you're feeling stuck, if you would like some change, what I want to let you know today is why it is sometimes so hard to create change. And there are a few things that make it hard. And one of them, what I just said, is that your mind likes to take you to everything that it knows. So it's not really favoring new experiences, new people, new different things. So we always, I mean, this is how we've survived over the last thousands of years, by really knowing what we're eating, knowing where we're going. This is how we survive. So this is really what it's, it's normal. This is normal and natural. So... This is your outer world. The question is what happens in your inner world? In your inner world where your thoughts and your beliefs are. So this is always where we very often stick to what we know. So maybe it's time if you feel stuck and if you would like some change and you feel the change is hard, maybe it's about going into your thoughts and your beliefs. Maybe there are some beliefs that you've adopted from your parents, grandparents, peers, teachers, preachers, I don't know who, and made them your own and start challenging and questioning them. So if you really want the change and change to the better, then start challenging those thoughts and beliefs. So the motto today is, um, the motto today that we have is um, your attention goes, where your attention goes, your energy flows. So this is really what, um, we're looking into today really in depth because where your attention goes, this is where you also lose energy. So this is what we're doing in the meditation today. Um, I, I guide you later into one and then we're going to have a look into where your attention goes. So does your attention then go to certain patterns, 
like emotions, thoughts, beliefs, dreams. So are you putting those attention to the known or are you also putting your attention to something that's different, that's that's new, that's, I don't know. For instance, what books do you read? Do you read fiction, nonfiction? What movies do you like to watch? Uh, science fiction, um, more the old stuff. This is also showing you where, where you maybe can change some of your beliefs and your thoughts and just watch something different or read a different book that you would normally not read. So this may give you a different aspect of your life and therefore can change your habits. So, um, you also have to realize another thing that growth is always the opposite of fear. So I'm just reading this absolutely fantastic book and Tauranga Library has quite a few of them. And it is absolutely amazing. And there's one chapter that's, I'm, I'm, Okay, there's more than one chapter that I love, but one is called Growth and Protection. So this is, goes into the same, known and unknown. Growth is expanding. This is the unknown. Protection is more closing down. It's the known. So, of course, if you're living in a situation in your life where you're considered with uh, protection, where you are maybe really in danger or you're stressed out, and um, be it financially, emotionally, or in any other way, then of course, growth is not your, your favorite for your, for your bio, uh, biochemical system. It's not favored by your bio, uh, biochemical system because your biochemical system is happy to survive. So and this is why this book is really amazing because it explains on a scientific level what we kind of know. But it explains to you what happens in your body when you're in stress, permanently in stress. And this is also what makes change for some near impossible, it seems. Because you're always in survival mode. So the protection mode in which you are is the exact opposite of the growth mode that we want when we want a change, a change for the better. So... One thing I really want you to realize, if you have a situation where you are more in protection mode and stress mode all the time, then um, your growth will look different. So be patient. Be patient with yourself. Okay? So um, with the inner work, like with the meditation, where we need to go is... Yeah, exactly. Um, you have to go beyond the past. You have to go beyond even the present reality. So you can do meditations where you're visualizing into the future, for instance, and then start creating. There's a beautiful meditation that you can do every morning or every evening. It's called the six phase meditation. It's on my YouTube channel. If you want to have, if you can't find it, just flick me an email and I guide you to it. Um, where you kind of create every morning or every evening, whenever you want to do it, your perfect day and your perfect life in three years' time. So this is when we gradually make things familiar and known to the mind that we haven't thought about before. So these are ways how you can mindfully take little steps towards a change and towards really a change for the better and a different life. Again, if you're happy with your life as it is and just want to do the one or the other improvements, totally great. You can use the same techniques. But I'm really talking today to people who want a change and can't find the door, um, feeling stuck wherever they are. Be patient with yourself because your mind wants to stay in the known and you would like to know when no other man or woman has gone before, which is not that easy. Okay. So because we are creating a completely new field around us and that is also means also that our emotions will change. So we will be maybe a bit more grumpy, but also more happy. But definitely everybody around us will say, oh, you've changed so much. And you just think, is that a good thing? So the question is, where is your attention going? 
And if you start changing, another thing to keep in mind, if you start changing your behavior, your thoughts, what also happens will be ripples. And um, yeah, little obstacles probably. Because subconsciously you still are in the other mode, but you want the change, do want the different thing. So one or the other obstacle will occur. So it's about getting through these obstacles, but not by forcing it, but by acknowledging them. By acknowledging that this or that is happening and then just sitting with it. So this is what we're doing today in the meditation. So I want you to find um, your meditation posture, make yourself comfortable. And what we're doing in the meditation today is really listening to our body. So I hope you're sitting now comfortably so that you can easily breathe and stay like that for the next um, 45 minutes. No, oh, half an hour, not that long. Let's see how long you want it to be. So connect your feet with the ground underneath you. And really feel the ground under the soles of your feet. And also feel wherever you're sitting on the bottom of your spine and connect really with Mother Earth through the soles of your feet and the bottom of your spine. And then connect the crown of your head with the vast space above you. Feeling that vastness and that field of all possibilities. And now I want you to realize that this vastness that you're feeling from above is energy coming from the universe and nourishing your body, nourishing your heart. And this energy goes through your body and goes out through the soles of your feet to Mother Earth and to the center of the earth where all the magma is and the heat and from there it returns back to the whole planet back into your body into your feet your legs so you have a connection an energetic connection from the center of the earth and up to the universe And I want you to leave everything else outside and just feel that beautiful energy nourishing your body. And now I invite you to concentrate on your crown and release all pressure there. Just let it flow down on you, down towards the crown. Smoothen your forehead. Soften your eyebrows. Your eyes. And your cheeks. Soften your jaw. Your tongue lies relaxed in the middle of your mouth. Where you can feel your teeth. Every in-breath is taking in fresh oxygen. Every out-breath is releasing stress, toxins, and hardness. So contact the relaxing quality of your out-breath as often as possible.
Relax your neck. Let it melt away. Relax your shoulders. Make them wide. Let your arms hang loose. All fingers let go. Relax your torso. Relax your belly. Relax your pelvis. Relax your legs. Just let them go. If you feel any tightness anywhere in your body, just release it with your out breath. Feel your whole body sitting here, here in the now, being present. And what I invite you to do now is being completely present with your body. And for those who are a bit more experienced, or for those who want to play, start feeling your body. Feeling if there is an area of your body who would like your attention. Is there an area that is tight? Maybe one that feels a little bit numb. Just realize if there is an area in your body that claims your attention. And just listen. This part of your body needs some energy. Just stay with your attention and acknowledge that there is some tightness or some pain. And just listen. Those who are a bit more experienced or maybe get some messages, some memories, some thoughts. So if a thought should come up or any other distraction, I want you to realize that there is one and then not be attached to it. Just observe it like you're watching a movie. So just stay with the feelings in your body and realize if there is an area that feels different, that is stiff. And then if a thought should come up or an experience or anything, then don't suppress it, just let it and watch it like a movie. not being attached to it, not judging it, nothing like that. And then bring your awareness again to your whole body sitting here, just as it is. Maybe you're hearing some sounds. Maybe there is some touching. Maybe there's a scent in the air. And just realize where your attention goes. 
Are you focused on yourself and your body? Feeling your body sitting here in the now? Or is your mind wandering? And if it is wandering, where is it wandering to? And again, we're not judging, we're not attaching to it. We're just observing where our mind wanders to. Because the point is, if you are still living in the past, in that moment when that idiot this morning cut you and you were just in time breaking the car to not be in an accident and you're still feeling that anger from this morning, you're wasting your energy. So your attention goes to whatever has already happened and this is where you lose your energy. Energy that you could use for creating a better life. And also watch if your attention goes too far into the future, to that party you will go next weekend. Oh, and probably that idiot will be there. Oh. Again, you're losing energy because your attention flows to something that is not making you happy, that is not fun. So how about bringing your attention to something that is fun? Creating something new in your life that is probably making you happy and I'm not talking about a new car or anything like that. I'm talking about an experience, an emotion, a feeling, something that you can create that is fun. Maybe there is an idea for you or a thought. Maybe there is a behavior that you want to adopt. You've read about this workshop that's happening next week or next month and you really would like to go, but, 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 but. What is holding you back? Maybe this workshop is exactly what you need to manifest the change. I leave you now in silence for a few more moments for you to listen to what you can create that will be fun. Enjoy.
where you're going. You see, what meditation helps us with is that you're going to temper your emotions and not mix up with that body or thing or emotion that you keep in your life because that's what you see as the cause of that emotion. As we lower the volume to our emotional reaction, which we do in meditation, we're putting less attention on it. And the bond towards it is going away. So we have more free energy to use on a new possible future. You are creating a new field in your life for a new possible future. As long as you let the emotions own you, your awareness is on the wrong object. So where is your attention going? To the same people, places, events? then you create the same life over and over again. So in order to change it, you have to go beyond this. So you need to place your attention away from the known past and combine it with the possible new future. Feel your body once more. Feel your body sitting here, here in the now. You may hear sounds around you, inside, outside. Maybe sounds that come from me, my voice. And feel into your body once more. Feel into your breathing. How does your breathing feel right now? Become aware of your body sitting in this room. Become aware of where your hands are placed and where your feet are placed. And start inviting life back into your body by moving your fingers and your hands, moving your toes and your feet, inviting a deeper breath into your body. Maybe stretching your neck, rolling your shoulders, stretching your whole body. And whenever you feel like it, Gently open your eyes. Welcome back. So you see, it is really about where your attention flows. So if your attention is always on what's wrong with you, what's wrong in your life, then this will stick. If your attention flows towards what's right in the situation, what's right about me, what is it that I want to take with me into the future, then you're putting your attention on, on the positive things, on things you can really take into the future. So what I would like you to do, or just a suggestion, may, make a list of things where your attention goes on a daily basis. So people, places, experiences, where you realize your thoughts are always going around that. Again, not judging, just writing it down. It can be positive, constructive, negative, stagnant. You will only find out when you start writing that down every day. Because then you realize on day seven, oh my God, I'm still thinking about that car that, you know, a week ago then you realize, wow, that's definitely stagnant. Or you will realize. So start writing down where your attention goes every day. And when it goes every day to, oh, I really want that holiday in Bali, but I can't afford it, 
then maybe after day seven, you're like, I really want to go to Bali. How am I going to afford it? Okay, so you because you realize this is something that I really, really want in my future. And then you start thinking in solutions and not in problems. And this is the way out. But you can only change once you are aware of what there is. So you need to find a technique and writing it down is one, meditation is another. To become aware of more and more where you are stuck, where you need to change your behavioral patterns, your thought patterns, or your life. So start writing down every day where your thoughts are going, where your attention is going. And then start realizing whether you have more negative thoughts, tendencies, or more constructive, positive. And if you realize that there's a lot of negative tendency, then look for the solution. Change from the problem to the solution. And I know it's a platitude. I know it's, it's, it sounds like a stereotype, but that's what it is. That is what it is. And like I said in the meditation, if it's fun, it's probably the right thing to do. If it brings you misery, it's probably not. So if it's fun, then that's probably something you want to take into the future. So maybe that's the solution already. But you will definitely see when you write it down where you disinvest your energy, where you're losing energy, where you're wasting energy, which you could much, much better use for a positive thought, a positive behavior, and changing your life, actually. So please identify the stagnant areas in your life. Where does your attention go? So I'm always here for feedback. Let me know how you're doing, how you're going. And I'll stop the recording soon for the Q&A for those who are live here. Our next masterclass is November 12th. Uh, we will be back in Taranga House sitting in Welcome Bay. And I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing you then and hearing from you about your first steps, your first mindful steps for creating the change and creating your life. And not just, um, you know, going with the flow and no. You want to take it into your hands. So do that. Have a wonderful month and see you again soon. Bye.